What's up, Internet? This is Rambling Josh, and you're watching another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Card. Last time, we actually defeated all of the trainers in the Water Club here, and that allows us access to the leader of said club, Amy. Uh, before we go and take her out, though, or take her on anyways, we actually got another email from Dr. Mason. I guess he decided that it's time to tell us all about Amy's deck. Uh, and if you're paying attention there, he says something about her using uh, Blastoise's Rain Dance and so on. Much like our own deck. So, that could be bad, but I'm f somewhat confident that we have the better water deck. So, let's get it on. Uh, well, there's my Blastoise. Unfortunately, I don't have any way of using it at this point, but, for, in fact, not can't really do a whole lot of anything at this point. It's gonna take a lot of headbutts to kill this Lapras. Hopefully I get a Dugong. Or, I would settle for pretty much anything, really. Uh, hmm. <laughs> that's, that's the Pokemon I didn't want to draw. Because I have a Blastoise, so I feel like I'm obliged to use the Squirtle. But I really want to use this Pokemon Trader to get myself a Dugong. I guess we'll just have to see how this goes. And another Pokemon Trader! Awesome! Uh, let's use another energy removal on this thing. This is kind of risky putting a, another energy on this seal because I'm basically banking on getting both a dugong and another water energy. Which may or may not actually end up being the case. There's water energy. You know what? I'm just gonna go for it. I, uh, <laughs> it feels really silly trading a Blastoise for a dugong, but. I have a. I've done enough damage to kill this Lapras now. And Dugong is also capable of killing both of the other Pokemon that Amy has. And because I've been using energy removal, she hasn't had a chance to attach any water energy to her bench Pokemon. So hopefully this plays out in my favor. There's a potion, and I'm just going to use Professor Oak. Ooh, Articuno. Power that thing up. Keep energy removaling. Uh, energy retrieval, what that does is it lets you, I believe, discard one hand, one card from your hand and retrieve two energy from your discard. Yeah. Uh, but I, I actually don't have anything in my discard, do I? Uh, does it not show your discard here? I, or no, it does show your discard. I've got a bunch of trainers in there. Anyways, everything else on our bench is real weak. I'm a little surprised she didn't put a water energy on Squirtle. Having that water energy on something that can do uh, paralysis uh, via bubble is a good stall tactic. I don't know what I was going to get with that. Uh, anyways... That, that, that Pokeball, that's what I was trying to say. Because, like... What am I going to look for? A Blastoise? Oh no! Yeah, oh, oh no, it did ten, ten, 10 damage to me. Oh no. I might die. Oh wait. Aurora Beam. Never mind. That was looking kind of dicey at the start, but I think I ended up taking a total of like 40 damage. That entire match. And that's really the power of getting a strong Pokemon out quickly. Uh, I think it took four turns for me to get that Dugong out at, uh, I guess it's not technically full power, because he has, um, oh, what's it called? Uh, Dugongs, they have an ability that, uh, has a chance to paralyze. 
Ice Beam, that's what's called. And it, that takes four energies, but I always usually just stick to Aurora Beam. So, yeah. That, that ended up being a lot easier than I expected. I wasn't expecting it to be hard, but... I definitely wasn't expecting it to be that hard, or that easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, did that say there's two booster packs this time? Is Dug Trio even rare? Does it say it's rarity in here? Oh yeah, there's the star on the side. I thought Dug Trail was an uncommon card. Uh, each card has a little sign on it that indicates its rarity. So for example, Pikachu has a circle, which indicates that it's common, whereas Raticate has a diamond, indicating uncommon. Dug Trail has a star, being rare. And each, uh, each booster pack has exactly one rare card in it. And I didn't think... I thought Dug Trail was uncommon. Another Pokemon trader? That's three of them now. That's a rare trainer. Oh, nothing useful from those booster packs. As is the norm. Uh, I'm not entirely sure where to go next, honestly. I guess maybe the fighting gym? Just save because I'm a compulsive saver. Is there only re really only one guy in this gym? Oh, okay. So I have to find his pupils. Uh, I would assume that they're all training in uh, the side rooms. Uh, I've only got one Electabuzz one way or another, and I, I like the Electabuzz I have, so... Yeah. Yeah! This is one of his pupils, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. This guy's actually... Th like, this gym trainer dude is... Doesn't really have no energy? Good lord. Uh, but yeah, this... I guess, what, what do you say his name is? Mitch? It's actually pretty annoying. Not only do I have to take out all of his pupils, but I also have to find them. Because they're located in other gyms. <laughs> well, let's do this. Uh, energy, energy, fill. It honestly doesn't matter what order I put them in because I'm just going to use Professor Oak. Do I not have a seal on my deck? Or a bench? Let's fix that. Seal, seal, where are you? Okay. Seal, and... I'm low on energy, so I'm not gonna bother uh, powering up Lapras at all. Not yet, anyways. Do I have a Pokeball? What do I got on my bench? Squirtle. Uh, let's use a Pokeball. Look for a war turtle. War turtle. There's a war turtle. Remove, remove another energy. Oh, cool. Water. Water energy. I likes me water energy. One of these days you're gonna be able to attack, but it is not this day. Okay, that dugong's powered up and ready to go. Whenever I'm ready. Oh, stump! What's it do? I think 20 plus uh, 10? With a, like a flip check on the 10 damage? Okay, I'm gonna attach one wired energy to Lapras just because... If I do 10 damage, then that means that Dugon can kill the Tauros in one hit. Rampage! Is that 20 plus 20? Or... I think it's 20 plus 20 and... No? What does Rampage do? Uh... Plus 10, if Tails attacks 20 damage. 20 plus 10 more damage for, for each damage counter on Tauros. Okay, that's how it works. Bill. 
Might as well put that on my bench, I guess, sure, why not? Whatever! Didn't I have an energy? There's the energy removal. I don't care about Tauros, so... What do I got? Didn't I draw a War Turtle? Yeah. I'm not gonna evolve the seal. I, I don't like leaving my uh, Squirtles unevolved just because they have so low HP. I, I don't mind as much for seal. 60 is a much more su substantial amount of health. So I don't... I Like I said, I don't mind leaving them unevolved as much as I do uh, Squirtles. Okay, water energy. Start powering up this War Turtle. I could go a lot more kind of crazy with uh, cycling through my deck, powering up other dudes. Uh, I've got, I think, uh, Professor Oak, or no, I've got Computer Search and stuff like that I can use, but uh, my situation is good enough that I'm not concerned about it. There's no point going through and uh, reducing the amount of cards in my deck if I don't need to. Just gotta. Well, for one thing, just because I'm gonna win right here, but. I think I've talked previously about how there's not really a whole point of just going crazy and getting all the cards in your deck if you don't need them. If your current situation is just fine, then it's just fine. Hmm. This guy gives evolution decks, or uh, booster packs rather. He might be a decent candidate to uh, do a bunch of killing. Just because... Oop, another thing from him. Dr. Mason, that's his name. Hunter! <laughs> Hunter's a... The, the whole uh, Ghastly, Haunter, Gengar line of Pokemon is actually pretty decent. Is this... Matthew isn't, uh, fighting. He's a part of the Rock Club, isn't he? I guess before I end this episode, let's find the other members of the, uh, fighting gym. I think there might be a guy in the fire club. This guy? No. Wait, what's this guy want? Oh, what'd I do? What'd I do? I sped through what he was saying too quickly. I'm so sorry. Wait, you Makuni? Oh, okay. It's honestly kind of hard to tell who is a member of the fighting club, just because... Well, there's one of them. So, I'll duel him later. And I want to say the last guy is in the water club. Probably because that's the last club I haven't yet visited. But I guess not? Okay, so... There's the guy in the grass club. Is it really... There should be one more. Is it this guy over here? No. It wasn't the- it was the rock club that he was in. Uh... This guy. I think maybe he's the last one that belongs to the fighting club? I don't know. I'll figure it out later. That's certainly enough stalling and wasting time for today, so... I'll continue fighting the, uh junior trainers or whatever you wish to call them of the rock club on the next episode of let's play pokemon card catch you later